Today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the basic elements of the visual arts, and I'd like to use this example from a recent exhibit that was held in the Crossman Gallery. This is a digital print. It was produced by an artist named Hal Ramel, and he created the image originally in a pinhole camera. So a pinhole camera is a pretty direct way of creating a photograph uh, in its simplest version. There's a small box, and this one had a piece of film inside the box. There's a small, literally a pinhole opening in the front of it that gets covered up. The artist takes the camera outside, selects their composition, opens the pinhole up, makes, uh, makes an exposure, covers it back up, takes the uh, film into the dark room and produces an image. Now in this case, Hal Ramel put objects inside the pinhole camera and the, it is those objects that created these different shapes uh, that we see in the picture here. So Hal came to the gallery as a visiting artist. We scanned the negative that he produced in a digital scanner. We flipped the image in Photoshop we tweaked the edges of the image to make the darks darker and the, light, the whites lighter. Um, Hal also added some texture to this image by uh, crumpling up some cellophane and having that inside the camera as well. So in terms of your basic art skills or your basic art terminology, there's some things here that we ought to look at. First of all, this is monochromatic. It's black and white. There's no additional color in here. The only variations are in tonality, or you could say value. So there's a value scale of dark to light. There's some grays in the middle here. It is pretty non-representational. There's no recognizable image in here. It's not a picture of something. It is an image that consists of these kind of jagged squares. So we've got form in here, these individual objects here, here, up there. So those would be considered to be form or shape. We've got some linear elements, these design items here. Uh, there's some compositional elements. Uh, we see the dark borders, the, the action area, the, the, the area that we're most interested in is kind of centered in the middle of the picture here. So in terms of a focal point, there's really not much of one. You might go to this image here. It's the darkest. It's got the most uh, exciting contours in it. Uh, but then you're meant to let your eye wander around the image a little bit. So if you're writing a report, if you're doing an event report and you had to write about this image, first of all, you'd want to know the artist's name. It was Hal Ramel. You'd want to know how he made that original image. It was a pinhole camera image. There's a date involved in it, and you can get that information from the label that's beside the picture. Um, in, in, in this case, even though the original image, the negative, was recreated earlier, the, the way that this was made uh, in our studio setting was 2016. So you've got artist name, title, date, medium. It's a digital print made from a pinhole camera image. Uh, if we were talking about formal design elements here. It's got form, it's got shape, it's got texture, it's got value, it's got intensity. These blacks are very intense colors, and so you could refer to the image there. It's non-representational. This is not a picture of a tree. It is a non-representational image. We're going to move over now to a similar kind of image, but one that has color in it. This is the second image that I wanted to talk about. This image also uh, existed in the same show in the Crossman Gallery. It was an exhibit that was called Ignition. And in this case, it's a different artist. It's an artist named Steve Burnham. Uh, Burnham is traditionally a painter, but for this exhibit, he brought some objects in and placed them on the bed of a scanner. He scanned those objects, and you can see over here, there's a crumpled up piece of fabric it's got some paint on it. There's some slabs of stone there and there. There's some more fabric up here. There's another kind of wadded up ball of cloth that's got some paint on it here. And there's some, up, some other objects over here. So these things are all face down on the scanner. The scanner runs, but while the scanner was traversing the screen, he took one of the pieces 
and he moved it across the scanner while the scanner was scanning. So the difference between this piece and the previous one is now we've got color, so we can, we can have uh, uh, color become part of our, our discussion. We've got a real specific movement of color and design across the screen here. Some things are fixed, they're recognizable, they're identifiable, but this part of the design really moves our eye through the screen. Um, it's got a value range. Again, there's some really dark areas here. There's some lighter areas in here. Uh, there's, there is recognizable imagery. I mean, we can, we can identify what this is, but the whole composition is basically an abstract form. So again, if you were writing about this thing, you would want to indicate that the artist was Steve Burnham. It's got a title. Uh, well, we're just, we're, the, the title is actually a color, color digital print from scanned objects, so it's kind of a technical title. 20, 2016 was the year in which it was created, and uh, it's, again, it's a non-representational image. Even though there's recognizable objects in it, it, it is not particularly a picture of something. This photograph here is the last image that I'm going to talk about um, in terms of coming up with some ways to describe an art object in an exhibition. So this is probably what most people would consider to be a more recognizable kind of image. Uh, it's a picture taken by Xavier Waller. He's an artist in Milwaukee. He's, it's called The Socialites. So it shows a scene that you might have taken a picture like this yourself uh, of the people enjoying a, a social setting. Um, it's recognizable now. So this is not an abstract image. This is recognizable images. It's, it's a realistic photograph. It's a color image that was outputted in a digital format on our Epson printer installed in the show. Uh, Xavier calls it the socialites. So now we've got a composition that you can recognize the images, but it is intentionally blurred. So the, the figures that are in here are not in sharp detail but it's still recognizable, you can still see it. It's, when we talked about the first image as being monochromatic, it was all black and white. This has some elements of a, uh, at least a close color harmony in it. Basically, we've got some dark black images here, and everything else is this sort of warm tone, this orangish tone, and that ties the picture together. It wouldn't be too hard to make up a story about this. Who is this guy? Nice looking guy is talking to uh, a woman with a hat on here. We see another man here. What kind of a setting is this? They're, they seem to be maybe in a bar. There's a drink over here with a straw in it. It looks like maybe it's some kind of after work social sort of scene. So you can sort of imagine what a story might be that goes along with this. They seem well dressed. That tells a different part of the story. They seem fashionable. The place looks kind, even, even in this blurred representation, the place looks kind of elegant just from the little bits and pieces we can see. So it's got some, it's got some forms to it. The texture is really muted. The texture is subdued intentionally in the picture. There's not those sharp, jagged shapes like we had in the, the pinhole camera image. There's not that swoop of color that we had in the blurred image, but it's a more recognizable kind of form. So I hope that gives you some ideas for ways to look at and talk about an artwork that's in an exhibition.